It's time to do your annual stormwater inspection for your planter box. This is an inspection that you, as a homeowner, can do yourself. Here's what to do in three easy steps. First, find your letter from the county that has the facility IDs. If you've lost your letter, email us at stormwaterinspections at arlingtonva.us and we'll get back to you within a couple of business days with a new letter. Uh, you'll need those facility IDs on the letter in order to fill out the online form. Next, you'll need to take some pictures. So for a planter box, typically we need three photos. The first one is gonna show the location of the planter box on the property, uh, as well as the plants inside. If you have a tall planter box, you might need to take two pictures for this item. Next, we're gonna take a picture of the inflow, where the water is coming into the planter box. Finally, we'll take one at the overflow. Um, and this is going to show the depth up to the overflow. So you'll need a measuring tape. Then you can take that picture right up to there. Uh, it's important to measure up to the top of the overflow and not to the top of the planter box. Step three, inspect and report. Once you've taken your pictures, it's time to fill out and submit the form. This can also be done from a mobile device. Enter the URL or search online for Arlington Stormwater Inspections. Then click on the link for Inspection Report Form. First, enter your email address, the facility ID, and your name. Check the box to say that you're conducting the inspection yourself. Next, upload your pictures. Then, fill out the inspection tasks. Enter the date of inspection and whether it has rained in the last three days. You'll notice that there are three columns. First, did you inspect it? Second, was maintenance needed? Third, when was maintenance completed, if necessary? If you find an issue, you can save your entries and come back once you've fixed the problem. That's why it's great to start early. Give yourself time to finish up any fixes that are needed before the inspection deadline. And if it's within the one-year warranty, get your contractor to fix the needed items. Next, we're gonna start filling out our inspection questions. So first of all, we're gonna look for signs of erosion at the inflow, as well as over here at the overflow points. So for our inflow, uh, in this case, our cobble, and also if you have a splash block, uh, those will really help to prevent any kind of erosion. Next, we're gonna look for any signs of sediment buildup uh, here at the inflow point. Here, it looks fine. Uh, Finally, we're going to look for leaves or other debris that are kind of filling in the ponding area here. Uh, in this case, we've got a few leaves over here that can be cleaned out. So next, we're going to make sure that there's enough ponding depth. So in this planter box, uh, the ponding depth is one foot. Your ponding depth may vary. It could be eight inches or six inches or the foot, full foot like this one is. Uh, so in this case, we're okay. Uh, if you have too much ponding depth, that's typical in the case of new planter box rain gardens. Uh, in that case, you may need to ask your contractor to come back and add some more soil media. Uh, if you have uh, not enough ponding depth though, if your, your level of soil is too high, uh, you may need to go in and remove some of the mulch. Now we're going to take a look at the vegetation. First of all, are there any weeds in our planter box? So here, our planter box looks pretty good, no, no weeds. Uh, if you are going through and weeding, be careful not to remove any vegetation that was planted. Uh, next, we're gonna look for any, uh, any of the plants that look like they're dying or diseased. So uh, in this case, we do have one that looks like it's in bad shape. That would need to be replaced. Uh, this one also where overall the plant looks healthy, but there are some spots where there might be some dieback. You just wanna keep an eye on something like that. Uh, finally, you wanna go through and uh, do any pruning that's necessary. All right, next you wanna take a look at the mulch. You wanna have a mulch layer that's uniform, two to three inches deep. Um, so here you can see that there are some areas where the mulch is a little higher and some area where it's a little lower. You really want to uh, have that uniform layer. So you may need to move some around. Now we're gonna take a look at the planter box walls. So here we're looking for any kinds of cracks or separation, settling, any kind of rotting or deteriorating material, um, buckling, anything that would be a sign of water damage. Uh, that would be a problem that would need to be fixed. Then we're gonna take a look at our observation well or overflow and make sure that the cap is still in place. Here it is, which is great. Then you're gonna sign and submit. 
Remember, the most important thing is to get us your inspection information on time. Thank you. Your planter box captures hundreds of gallons of runoff. It reduces runoff to neighbors. It protects our local parks, streams, the Potomac River, and the Chesapeake Bay. On behalf of Arlington County, thank you.